Welcome to our YouTube channel dedicated to exploring the latest insights and opportunities in the world of finance and investments with a special focus on currency revaluation, gold and silver investments, cryptocurrency and make money online opportunities and more. If you're interested in staying up to date on the latest developments in currency revaluation, particularly the Iraq dinar and other currencies, best to subscribe to this channel. Please note that the content on this YouTube channel is for informational purposes only and should not be considered financial advice. We are not licensed financial advisors, and the opinions expressed on this channel are based on our own research and personal experience. We strongly recommend that you do your own research and consult with a licensed financial advisor. Also, just before we go any further, this channel has a weekly giveaway of 100 Dogecoin. To enter, all you have to do is be subscribed to this channel like this video and watch this video until the end because if you don't you will be automatically disqualified from the giveaway we will be sharing the random hashtag keyword daily somewhere in the video and then comment hashtag the keyword with no spaces in between in the comment section good luck now let's proceed with the latest direct in our news and until today please take these information with a grain of salt and please make sure to do your own due diligence from News Hound, Intel Guru Mountain Goat, I asked my CBI contact how the rate of the dinar would be determined in the future. I was told that you know, and I know that the rate of the dinar is now being artificially suppressed. I was told that Iraq is in a much better situation now prior to the 1990 embargo. And so, why not have an international rate again with at least a rate equivalent to the late 1980s prior to the invasion? From Intel Guru Frank 26, a few people were saying, Boy, the news out of Iraq is really slow. It's not slow. The calm before the storm. That phrase fits perfect right now. It's not slow. It's simply very silent because that's the phase we're in right now. The phase we're in right now to announce the new exchange rate. They are being mum. They are being mum about the budget right now. From Newshound Guru Militia Man, Iraq hasn't had a real effective exchange rate for over 20 years. Man, we're really, really close. From Newshound, Intel Guru Walking Stick, Sudani rewrote the contracts and recalculated them in accordance with the rate in the budget. They've been running a budget with the new exchange rate and a budget with the old exchange rate. From Intel Guru Frank 26, if the budget comes out in the Gazette with the old rate, there's only two budgets left, one with the old rate and one with the new rate. But if they come out with the one with the old rate, don't worry about it. It'll change very quickly. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, there are some things out of Iraq that should make us feel good today. The president of Iraq approves the 2024 budget schedules. Rashid approves a number of laws, including the 2024 budget tables. My contacts over there are saying they got the budget tables posted in the Gazette, but did not get a new rate. They let us know that they figured the budget of 2024 on an average price of a barrel of oil at $80 USD. This is progress. From Newshound Guru Pimpy, article, Customs complete the first phase of the automation project and reveals its revenues within five months. They've been kept in the dark ages for a long time. Everybody was doing everything by paper and pencil, and it was kept that way for a reason. Banking and other institutions are seeing their companies change with this new technology, are going to be excited. It's going to make their work a lot more efficient. It's only going to get better for Iraq. This is one of those way they can generate revenue other than from oil. This is exactly what they need to diversify. Quote, revenue rate will raise by the end of this year to 200% from what it was in 2022. That's a hell of an increase. It's going to boom over there. From Newshound Guru Claire, article, Dinar Explainer 1, Why Iraq Has Two Exchange Rates Quote, On a recent webinar organized by the Iraq Britain Business Council, Professor Frank Gunter of Lehigh University explained the causes and effects of Iraq's dual exchange rate. 1. Excessive demand for US dollars internationally. 2. Internal demand for dollars. 3. The dollarization efforts by the New York Fed. The New York Federal Reserve has restricted dollar transfers to reduce dollar flows to Iran and Syria. They have also excluded over two dozen Iraqi banks from transactions, which has increased the complexity and demand for dollars in Iraq. From Intel Guru Mark Z via PDK, on the Treasury side, 
the rumors are dropping left and right. Everything from it's tomorrow to oh no, they delayed it another month. Crazy rumors. Same sources are telling different people different things. That tells us it's misinformation and it is done on purpose. Stay calm and remember the fundamentals. Iraq is still looking great. They still have the new ATMs. They still have conversations saying they are going to delete the zeros. And they are still having the conversations about releasing the lower denominations in July. Things still look great. Before ending with the last update, the hashtag keyword for the 100 Dogecoin giveaway is artificial. Comment down below which updates you like, think is valuable, or get you most excited. You can be the lucky winner if you like, subscribe, and watch the main content of this video. This will be for this coming Sunday's giveaway, and the winner will be announced in one of the Sunday's videos so you do not want to miss it. And finally, the last update is from Intel Guru Frank 26, Iraq Boots on the Ground Report. From Firefly, they tell us on July the 18th we will be official, but they keep hinting that we're already part of the WTO. They got some guy from the WTO saying that the WTO got this on our WTO calendar already. The newscast saying that is the day Iraq is fully accepted with no holdback or limitations on our currency. From Frank, this is very good news. In my opinion, the new exchange rate should be well before that date. Moreover, we posted in significant news the other day. We explored a significant development in Iraq's economic landscape. Prime Minister al-Sudani recently announced that Iraq has become a safe and attractive environment for global companies to invest in. In this video, we broke down this news, explained why international companies should consider investing in Iraq, and discussed how the revaluation or reinstatement of the Iraqi dinar can further boost investor confidence. Please go ahead and check it out by clicking on the link on the top right of this video, as you don't want to miss this. Lastly, we will continue to post videos about the recent events and articles supporting the changes taking place in Iraq so you don't want to miss them. Also don't forget, please drop a comment below with hashtag and the keyword and let us know what you think. If you like this content, and like to support this channel, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you get notified when new videos are uploaded. See you on the next video. Bye.